Tell me your name. Michael Molina. All right, Mr. Molina, this is 20... 24 CT 403071AO. You are arrested for reckless driving. There is probable cause. Did you fill out? A, you didn't fill out a form for the public defender. Are you going to hire a lawyer? Uh, no, I was calling a public defender. Okay. Did, um, do you work? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you get paid weekly, bi weekly, monthly? Monthly. And then what is your. Uh, huh? Uh, bi weekly. Bi-weekly? Okay. And then after taxes, how much is your paycheck bi-weekly? Um, it varies. I would say around half of it. Do you have any dependents? No. Okay, he qualifies. All right. You're going to qualify. I'll appoint the public defender. I don't think there's an offer today. And there's some probably, these are one of these complicated cases. Mm -hmm. You probably want to talk to a lawyer first. Okay. So we're, um, all right. I'm just going to stay the bond at the 500, okay? Shot Moody. Moody bonded. All right, tell me your name. All right, so you're here in case number 2024-CF6557AO. You were arrested for possession of methamphetamine with intent to sell or deliver, possession of cannabis with intent to sell or deliver, trafficking in methamphetamines over 28 grams, possession of methamphetamine, conspiracy to sell or deliver cannabis over 20 grams, resisting an officer without violence, and possession of cannabis over 20 grams, there is probable cause for those offenses. You make $1,000 a week? From work. Huh? From work. Yeah. Those are my drug habits. That what? Those are my drug habits. You make $1,000 a week? I buy drugs to okay. um, smoke. All right. Your Honor, he, um, on the out on bond, he's uh, been deemed in competent to proceed. Um, he's on SS. I, I believe disability, so defense would ask that you appoint us. So the out on bond, I don't know how he would, would have been found incompetent on that yet already. They just filed, like. And the 2023 CF32, I see the EVA. Okay, let, me, let me look, because I, I didn't see that, but 3243. Because it's set for... for pre-trial. Trying to see. I don't see that he was ever adjudicated. Yeah, there's, I mean, it was just file. I, there's no finding of com incompetency. Okay. Um, he had the eval. Um, three. Maybe it was a private eval that you guys did because there's been no motion filed that I can, well, let me look because this is the wrong case number then. 2023. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, because I see. It, I does guess. he have you in that case? He does. It okay. says order appointing expert for competency. Evaluation. Okay, maybe I, I was looking at the wrong case. Let me see. I they sent over from my notes. We have a confidential email email that they sent over, and then the one Dr. Duros did three thirty. Looks to be court ordered. Yeah, I don't think there's been a finding of. It's just an order appointing, and then yeah, there's been no there's been no finding of incompetency in the case. Okay, so but I'll appoint the public defender because you already represent him. It's being yeah. Yeah, there was a there was a. The, he just had the eval. I believe that's maybe why they adjudicated. I mean, they determined he would. The doctor determined he was incompetent. Yeah. Well, but, but there hasn't been a finding. No. That, yeah. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna appoint the public defender. No drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. No contact with the co-defendant. No return to the scene. No weapons, firearms, or any ammunition. The bond on count one. 
is 5,000, count two is 1,000, count three is 50,000, count four is 150, count five is 150, count six is 100, count seven is 150. I am revoking the release at this time and setting that at none in 23 CF 3243AO. And he already has the public defender. Your attorneys will have to file a motion to set bond in that case. All right, tell me your name, please. All right, Mr. Almazar, you're here in 2024 CF 6526AO. You're arrested for possession of a controlled substance and possession of the firearm in the commission of a felony. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender. No drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. No weapons, firearms, or any ammunition. I am going to release you. What? Oh. Can I help? He brought me in here as a witness. Okay. There's no victim in the case? No, ma'am. We obtained a lawyer. I'm not sure if he came in yet. Okay. Who's the lawyer? Tim McLean. Is he coming today? He said that he was already here, so I'm not sure. He's not here. I mean, I can recall him at the end and see if he shows up. You might want to call him. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to give, I'm going to release him on pretrial release. I, I don't okay. think the attorney's going to object to that. No, that's fine. So, um, I'll go ahead and notify him and update Okay, him. yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, he qualifies for pretrial release, so he won't have to post a bond, okay? They'll release him on pretrial release. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Mr. Almanzar, um, you're going to be released on pretrial release. Make sure you comply with the conditions, okay? And then just keep in touch with your lawyer and don't miss any court, okay? Judge, can you repeat those conditions huh? for me? Can you repeat those conditions? No drugs and no weapons. Okay. He filled out a form. I, well, they can file a notice of appearance, Mr. McLean. If he's, if they, if he appoint the PD because he filled out a form and Mr. McLean's not here and he hasn't filed a notice of appearance. So if he wants to file a notice of appearance, he can do that. All right. Tell me your name. James Cannon. All right, Mr. Cannon, you're here in 24 CF 65378. Oh, you're arrested for petty theft with two prior theft convictions. There is probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You're not to return back to the Dollar General. No contact with any victims or witnesses. Your bond is 2500 All right, thank you, sir.